Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to implement translations inside FOSS User Bundle. So it's not the most straightforward thing to do, but bear with me, there is a sort of working solution to this. I want to show you it because translations out of the box work um, with FOSS User Bundle, but there, it applies a few additional complications to our setup. The idea will be that we have a URL with a root uh, that has our locale in it like that or France or Germany or whatever um, and then this bit is going to translate because out of the box Foz User Bundle comes with a ton of translations. Let's just take a quick look at that. So vendor, Foz User Bundle uh, and in, in resources, translations, all these different files come pre-configured with translations in. So obviously I understand the English version, um, but then, you know, there's all the additional ones as well, the German version and whatnot, sp uh, Spanish version. And we can customize these. Obviously we don't customize them inside their bundle. We would take a copy of the translations and put it inside in the same way that we did with our uh, templates. We just copy it into resources for user bundle, paste it in there, and I'm just pasting in the whole lot and you'll also see that we've got validator translations as well so that's going to be if like your username's too short or whatever not too sure why it's opened up that one specifically but um, I've pasted them all in you don't need to and I'm just going to go ahead and delete the ones I don't want so pretty much everything except the English version and I'm not really interested in the validator messages either at this stage um, because we've not covered validations as of yet so let's go ahead and just translate something or change up the translation from logged in as to welcome back welcome back can't even spell in English let alone a foreign language anyway so uh, if we refresh this nothing is actually going to happen at the moment because it's not set up in that way um, let's just refresh I don't I think we'll also need to clear the cache so we got login let's just log in as code review test see what we get so you got logged in as so it's not even seeing it at the moment let's just cancel that we'll do a cache clear or cackle as I like to do it uh, and just wait for that to go through start the server back up and we'll see if our translation has kicked in so we've got our welcome back code review now we need to look at the setup of this first because when we was installing to begin with we actually enabled translations, um, so we went in and un sort of commented out that bit, and that's enabled it. Now, if you've not done that, translations aren't going to work anyway, so make sure that you've set that up. Again, it's in the installation instructions, just follow along, it's the first step. Uh, and then you can see that's quite a, a, new, a new thing, so anything that's shared, that our parameters are shared and we're not going to swap and change, you can see the best practices now is to include a parameters uh, key with a locale set underneath it as opposed to putting it in your parameters yaml or your parameters yaml dist so and the reason to, to put it in the distribution file is so that when someone reinstalls or someone new comes to the project and installs it sets up the parameters yaml file according to whatever's in the dist which is always something that i constantly forget to do honestly it's if you update your local parameters file and forget it to put it in there other people are going to have a bad time just a bit of a sidetrack there so we've seen all these translations are available, but what if we was to go to say FR, so the French translation and try that? Well, it's gonna say that there's no root found and that's because we've not even enabled translations as of yet properly on our routing. So we need to go into routing and this is not going to work as you might expect, but let's give it a go anyway. So we're gonna say prefix and then we're gonna prefix all our URLs with a translation locale. We're also gonna do the same for our app. And so now if we try that, it does actually work and that looks all good but as soon as we start to try and use it so this is uh, disconnect or log out uh, as soon as we try and do that it's going to blow up so we the reason being that these locale uh, the, the fact that we've added the locale in is now breaking the the way that uh, FOS user bundle is trying to build our URLs. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we jump across into our security YAML and there's a few extra things that we need to add in here. So it's form, uh, the form login needs to change to have a login path specified and we need to basically tell uh, FOS user bundle how to, how to properly work given that we've changed up the URLs a little bit. So most of the things that I'm about to do start with this fuzz underscore user underscore security thing. So I'm just going to take a copy of that. Then also we need to put in the check path, which is going to be the same with check. Uh, and also the logout needs to change from just being true to have a little bit more setup on it. So we're going to have a, a logout path on there. And then we also need to add in a default target path. 
and that's just going to be the name of our well we've only really got one one primary root let's just close that bit down so it's a little bit easier to see got app bundle controller and we just need to pass in the name of this root so we're just going to go with home page as that's the name of the root uh, and that's going to be our default target path home page and the same here for the logout target is also going to be home page and if we don't set that then Foz user bundle is not going to be able to properly build the URLs uh, otherwise effectively what you're seeing here so let's just try that now uh, this time we should get logged out and it's it's nicely remembered the uh, the locale the problem is if we hit without then we get a blow up and so we're going to need a third party bundle to resolve that problem for us to cut down on recording time and just to uh, i'm sure you're already aware of how to install a bundle i'm going to go ahead and install jms i18n routing bundle which resolves this problem for us and what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to have the concept of a default route so if we don't provide a route it's going to default to whichever one we provide in this case it's going to be en and then we're going to restrict it down to the available locales that we that we provide so i've gone ahead and set up the bundle i've just set it up inside app kernel as i say i'm sure you you're aware of how to do that and I've also done the uh, require statement now it's blowing up because I've taken out the config but if we go into our config YAML and just paste in the the section from JMS i18n routing documentation I'm just going to change this up just a touch uh, just to swap that over to say our locale and that's just pulling out from that top parameter there um, so yeah nothing particularly untoward just swap a few of these things around as well just to add in a few more not dots we want commas uh, and DE maybe ES as well just so that these are working if we don't provide one then we're going to get the default and we actually can't provide the default so we'll see that in a sec and one last thing I'll just show you there, there is something in the routing that's going to cause us a problem so if we go to app console uh, debug router and take a look at what it's dumping out so we can see that it's still got the locale thing in there but it's also added as a locale in there as well not what we want so just remember to take out the the prefix if you have sort of followed along um, and then we get a nicer looking roots but notice no en root because that's the default so that's not actually going to work uh, so if we head back to our site i don't think i started the server so let's just make sure that i'm going to do that server run this time everything should work but we will be restricted down to the routes that we have set up so let's just hit this one uh, login and then also you can see so if we go to say fr which is one that we've configured we get connection uh, login and notice as i've mentioned we've not actually set up the translations for our login form but some of them are some of them aren't that's just because we've made certain things for ourselves and certain things we've just copied in from fuzz user bundle and then we've got everything at the top d connection so that must be log out and then we actually get logged out to our proper route which if you went with the prefix route that wouldn't work it would just bomb you out to the the default which wouldn't work because we wouldn't have provided a, a locale at that point so that's really one way around it it may not be the perfect way around it but it does work and yeah hopefully that has been uh, useful to you